Oh, I love it when things work. Famous last words, of course. Yes, now live with delicate dahlias. Yay! Right, so I hope you are all well. Uh, it is just three o'clock in the UK. So I have gone live using my software. So I'm very happy. I'm less happy about the fact that um, that uh, the weather is so vile. But hey, there we go. Mm. So I'm sort of ready <laughs> in that I've put the stamps on the blocks. Haven't quite decided on my colour scheme, but I think I'm getting there. Um, I've been doing lots of stuff for things that are nothing to do with stamping up today. Good morning, Sherry from Oregon. Six, seven in the morning. Wow. Early then. Now, Oregon, that's sort of central US, Midwest-ish. So I'm hoping that you are not being impinged by Ida. Uh, Susan from New Hampshire. Now, how are you? I've heard awful things on our news about New York um, with flooding. So I hope you're all right in New Hampshire. Hello, Nikki. So, yes, I do hope everyone is all right. Um, mm. Now, that's interesting. I have no data on how good my streaming is. Hmm, that's always a little worrying. Your West Coast, phew, okay, that's all right then. Well, I'm hoping it's all right. Stream health, that's what I want, is excellent, good. That's better, I like to be able to see. Hello, Audrey, I'm guessing that you've got sunshine in Scotland. At least the weather forecast was saying you were going to have sunshine in Scotland. We've got another of our usual rotten days. But hey, we'll take it. We're enjoying a lovely AM after heavy rain. OK. Fair enough. Well, I'm I'm just hope that the rain is gone now. But the 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 pictures from what's happening in New York are awful. Um, hello, Lorna. I've got my cup of tea. We're in a drought. Oh, isn't that always the way? So one coast, too much rain. Other coast, not enough. It only came out at two o'clock this afternoon. Well, Audrey, I'm sorry it's only been out for an hour. Um, it's not been out at all here. Well, I say not at all. Itty bitty, teeny weeny 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 teeny bit. And then it's gone. So hey ho. Just put a jumper on, it's so cold. Yes, I've ha I have to say I have had a hoodie on all day. I have socks on. Um, I have long trousers on. Um, but I have just taken my hoodie off. New York, not good. No, I know. It's awful in New York at the moment. Um, oh, you've retracted your message. OK, that's fine. Anyway, we are going to be playing with Delicate Dahlias today, that side. Um, I'm just hoping there's a, enough time that enough time has gone with four minutes in that anyone who wanted to can at least catch up. Um, hello, Steffi. So, uh, I am going to flip us down. New York and Massachusetts are flooding. Oh, not good. I know I saw photos from, um, a friend of mine who is in... I want to say Missouri. Not good. Not good. I think she's in Missouri. She moved, which I get confused. Anyway, so we are going to be playing with Delicate Dahlias. We only have a month, in fact, less than a month of this left, because come the end of September, Delicate Dahlias will be gone. Now, it is a level two item from your celebration catalogue. So it does require... I'm only going to give you the European figures here because I don't know what it is in other countries. So in um, 
in the UK it's a 90, it's free with a 90 pound or more order and in Europe it's free with a 120 euro order or more. I'm guessing US dollars that's a hundred. You're glad I'm doing this one. Good. Glad you're glad, Lorna. Um, but we are going to be doing some fussy cutting, which I know you all love. Well, I do. And dare I say, that's all that matters. Because I'm doing it. Aren't I horrid? Or selfish or something. So I'm going to flip you down. Uh, we'll probably do some embossing, as in dry embossing. Um, I might just grab an embossing folder, actually. Let's see, which one shall I use? Um, that's the new bark. That's the floral flourishes. That's the wall. That's the bark. That's the evergreen forest magnolias, dandelions, music. Don't think any of those are quite appropriate. My husband knows that I have started, so he will answer the phone. Oh, good heavens, he has. Ornate floral, no. Pretty flowers, no. Animal print, uh, animal print, possibly. Hammered metal. Oh, I do like some painted texture. Uh, seashells, no. Tasteful, no. Actually, the basket weave might be quite nice. Let's go ba basket weave. No, I'm going to go painted texture. $100, thank you. $100 US. Apparently, that is the phone again. Right, so I'm going to start by doing my embossing and then I will actually be trimming down the piece of card that I'm going to emboss. Um, but I like to do my embossing before I trill it, trill it, trim it down. Hello, Lisa from Adelaide. So I need my large stamp and cut and emboss. Mm -mm -mm. I need my platform and my grey plate because it is a 3D embossing folder. And that is the, what we need. So, piece of basic white, pop it in. Yeah, we have, we've got problems with our, the drain in our sink, um, in that it doesn't. Um, it just sits there looking at us. Sometimes it will drain and sometimes it won't. Um, it just doesn't seem to make its mind up, so we've got someone to come and have a look at it. Right, so don't need that anymore. And don't need that anymore, so let's pop that back on its shelf. I'm trying to be terribly good and put everything away as I use it because I have spent days, and I mean days, tidying up my studio. Um, it has been quite a feat. Anyway, so let's have a look at this, which is our texture paint acrylic paint. Hello Pam from Australia. Um, right, so I have a just a rough piece of basic white. I put both of my dahlias on blocks. Um, I am going to use tuxedo black on my outline dahlia. So I'm going to ink that up and Stamp that down. I'm going to need hmm, either three or four. I think I'll stick at three. Otherwise, we might be going a little far. So one. Oh, good. I've now got tuxedo black on my hands. Excuse me while I just get my chamois. Because I don't really want black ink on my hands especially when I'm dealing with white paper. So one, oops. I've been having great fun earlier today uh, getting a new starter pack ready for my latest addition to the team. Are you going to flip? Oh, Steffi, I've put the small camera on, haven't I? See, I had to reset all of my settings Pip. Thank you, Steffi. There we go. Can we see what you're doing? No, you can't. 
Uh, are you going to pop into the corner? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to redo all my settings. So those of you who joined me on Tuesday will realise that, or remember, that I had a bit of a problem in that my software decided it was going to go into a meltdown. Um, basically what had happened was that it did an update just before I went live, which is fine, I have no idea what it did. Um, but in doing so, all of my settings went. So that was lovely. Uh, so I had to redo them all. Um, and uh, I've called them different things. <laughs> Whoops. So, well, I've called them the same things, but they are different. As in things that I used to call one thing, I'm now calling something else. And things that I used to call something else, I'm now calling... Well, anyway, you get what I mean. So there's me thinking I had flipped you down. And I hadn't. Good. Okay. So those are our outlines. Then I'm going to go polished pink. I nearly went magenta madness. And I decided that was a step too far. Now the first thing to do is to work out. Oh, and I've twisted my stamp each time. Never mind. Um, you need to know which way up is. It's not vital but it does help, right, so it's there. For this one, it's there. So there's a little bit just just there that corresponds with that little curly cue there. So I'm just going to ink up. And this is quite a juicy ink pad, so it may actually be too juicy. Uh, I have used this stamp before, so it has been prepped. There's me thinking you don't really want to see what I'm doing. That's obviously what it was. So there's our lovely dahlia. It's almost a dahlia colour. In fact, what you really probably want to do with these is... Um, I really did turn this, didn't I? Is, um, is put your brain in. That would be a help. There it is. Um, is actually colour it... To put some colour on with a sponge dauber. Uh, then you can get two-tone, because a lot of dahlias are two-tone. Low dame fire. Because I'm going to be doing some fussy cutting, I can actually pick the, the one that is best to have as the outside. Uh, right, so that is that. Yep. That is that one. Now what you could do, and what I probably should do, is once you've worked out which way this stamp lines up with this stamp is actually mark the stamps. If you get a um, Sharpie, um, or you could use one of the alcohol, one of our stamping blends, like the the black blend, because um, they're alcohol, you can mark. So you've got a, a, an area to line up, um, just as a thought. Um, Clearly they're having fun getting through to us. The trouble with people coming to find us um, is that they generally use a mobile phone, which is fine, except we don't have mobile phone signal in the village or anywhere much around it. When we first moved here, the only mobile phone signal that I could get was up one of the hills. I'm so pleased you like it, Lisa. It is a really pretty stamp. I don't know why I took that off. Anyway, right. I have a number of pairs of scissors on the go at any one time, but I have this pair, which I always use when I'm cutting things, particularly if I'm fussy cutting. And I have all these dangles that people have given me over the years. Um, and I use that to help stabilize. You don't actually need that, but I'm used to it being there, so I do use it. Um, but what I do, so many years ago, nearly 40, um, anyway, um, quite a few years ago, I went to fashion college and one of the things, well, there were a number of things we were told about scissors. A, don't use fabric scissors on paper unless you want them to dull and not be sharp anymore. Uh, never lend your scissors to anyone because they will use them in a different way. Um, and scissors do actually become used to how you use them. It's a bit like a nib on an old fountain pen. Um, it kind of wears into your, how you use it. Um, so I always, all of my 
all of my precious scissors I have marked in some way so I know which way up they go. Quite often I just put a piece of ribbon around them, something like that. Um, but these I have my danglies because I was given danglies, so I have danglies. So I'm just going to roughly cut these out to begin with. Now, um, first things first, you don't have to fussy cut. I just happen to enjoy fussy cutting. And because they're dahlias, they do get depth. Now, you can go mad. You could do uh, one, two, three, probably four layers. I'm going to do two or three. Um, I'm going to choose the one that is stamped best from an outline point of view. They're all as bad as each other. OK, so this is going to be my outside. So this is the one that I will cut right the way at the outside of. A um, little bit of white around the edge is fine. You don't have to. It's personal choice. I just find that if I've got a black outline, it's much better to have a little bit of white around the outside so that if you go a bit eh -oh, um, and overcut, uh, it's not so obvious because if you cut away a piece that's black, it's going to possibly show. Less so on this stamp set because it's got gaps in the outline anyway. Um, but uh, otherwise you could find that you are cutting away the black line, um, which is fine. You can cut away the black line, but you want to be consistent within the piece. So either always cut inside the black line or always don't. I think using an old scratchy wooden handled ink pen for dictation every Friday afternoon in primary seven. Oh yes, absolutely. I don't know why you've got your caps on, Audrey. Um, we can hear you in lowercase, it's fine. But yes, I know what you mean. I have had some really nice fountain pens over the years, but I lose them. Um, so I didn't use them. But I had a really nice fountain pen when I was working in the city. Um, it was, I loved it. And it's it stayed in, I'm going back to the days when I had a Filofax, um, which actually isn't that long ago. I really liked Filof a Filofax, because uh, you could carry everything with you. Uh, from what I've seen, Barbara, it is going to be today. It was tomorrow at one point, but the latest I have seen is that it's going to be today. So fingers crossed. Shall I have a quick look? So Barbara, who is on my team and is in Germany, um, it's our team retreat, not this weekend, but next weekend. Must do some filming. Um, and 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 Ooh, which one is it is it that one or that one? i think it's that one um i have a number of packages going uh says to, says by end of day today it's been released by the government agency which is always good so yes so i sent i sent all of the packages out early i know but not yet yeah, well, yes, but it's not the end of the day yet. Um, and the fact they brought it forward is always encouraging. So, yes, I sent all the packages out early to make sure that Barbara got hers in good time. Um, I had great fun. I must actually share the photos that I took of... Because <laughs> I had a clean studio. Yay! I had two tables set up uh, with all the piles of stuff. Um so that I could do, you know, one for you, one for you. Such, I had an absolute blast. And it was so nice to work in a tidy space. I'm one of those people who loves working in a tidy space and hates tidying up. But what I'm not very good at is tidying as I go. Um, it's boring. I'm trying to be better because it took me the best part of a week to tidy up my studio. I hadn't done a really good tidy probably for about three years, but I literally, apart from the furniture and apart from my cardstock drawers, which only have cardstock in, um, 
I literally took everything out. Fortunately, we've got a covered area on our patio, which is just outside my studio door. Uh, so I can put things there and not worry about the rain. Uh, so I literally would, would empty a cupboard onto the patio table and sort it through and things were not allowed back in until they were in a storage box that was labelled. Um, and if I hadn't used them for, you know, ever, um, they went either into a sell, donate or get rid of pile. Went to the tip a few times, but also donated a lot to a charity locally. You're so helpful. Your trust in UPS is more than my trust. And then we have to see if they get... Well, yes, but hopefully not. Watching you fussy cat is what, like watching a chef. Very fun and interesting. Okay. Yes, fingers crossed this time, Barbara, that you don't get a bill. It's one of the joys of sending things um, by UPS, actually. So... In the UK, if you get something sent to you by post from overseas, the post office collects the uh, any tax or customs before they will deliver it, so you know if there's going to be an additional bill. UPS don't work that way, and I assume it's everywhere. They'll deliver your thing and then tell you two weeks later that you owe them a lot of money most of which will be their fee for collecting the little bit of money that you actually owe them. But hey. Right, nearly done on this one. The next one's going to be interesting because I don't really know where I'm going to go. But, so that's the first one. So that's going to be our base. You had to get two fanny pens for your second job. One blue, black, and one red. Used in large ledgers. One of them started in the 1800s. Wow. Yes, I had to have a red pen, but I just used a um, an ordinary pen. What's the word I'm looking for? Fibre tip. Right, on the subject of pens, uh, let me get my basic black. So, I am going to cut less this time. And this is a really fussy stamp. So to work out what less is going to look like, I'm actually going to draw. So I'm going to go inside the line that I'm now going to draw. Uh, purely so that I can see the wood for the trees. Otherwise, I think I might go a bit boss eyed. Um, yeah, we'll come out that. Uh, and we'll do that. Ooh, that one ought to stay. Just looking at the shape of the flower. Or I could go all the way in, actually. Let's go all the way in and come back out again. Uh, and then there, and then there, and then there. Right, so I have drawn on there. Let me make it a little bit more obvious for you. So the black area is going to be cut away, preferably without going inside the line that I've drawn. So it's just, this is such a fussy stamp. You need to know, or one needs to know, where one is cutting. Um, and just so that you can see where my decision is, that's what I'm doing. Are black markers sold separately? The black, this black one is sold separately. Yes, you can get this one on its own. So that's gonna be that one. Um, and then I want the inside as well. So let's go. Of course, not getting black on your hand is a really good idea. The trouble is I use this for flipping, you know, splatting. Um, so ink gets onto the barrels. So let's just clean my barrels, shall we? That's better. So I'm going to be brave. That looks like the really dirty one. I'm going to be brave and go straight in with the thick one. Um, so I need this to be roughly the same though, same way around. Where's that little bit? Where's that? That's there. No, that's not it. Right, there we are. Right, so that's there. So I'm going to definitely cut that away. 
and that is going. I'll keep that. That is going. That is going. I think I might be radical and go in there. Yeah, so that's that petal. So I can then go there. And there. And take that off. Some of these are going to be more cut away than others, I feel. So I think we'll go in there and come out there. And actually, let's go all the way. No, I'm going to go there. Right, so we're going there. And there. But yes, these are not cheap as chips, but actually probably yes, the cost of chips these days. Um, not expensive. Mm -mm -mm. Colouring tools. One, two, six. Ooh. Number nine. 275 in the UK, 375 in Europe. Single black marker for journaling and more. Water based, acid free. Right, okay, so let's pop that back in and get chopping. So, yes, um, we don't do the journaling pens anymore, which I love. Sadly, we don't do them anymore. I did stock up on them, just saying, because I love them. Um, so I did buy about, I don't know, half a dozen packs um, because I wanted half a dozen packs before they went. So that's going in there, going in there, in out there. So do you, do you see where I'm coming from with drawing around with the black marker so that I know what I'm looking at? Otherwise I would have I would be going boss-eyed with this because there's just too much detail. But doing it first means you're more likely to end up with layers that make sense. Hopefully that made sense. Layers that made sense made sense. Hopefully. Right, so that's there. So we're going in there. And then out there, to there, and then so what have you all got planned for your weekends? Uh, a friend of mine just suggested that we get together. There's a group of us who used to scrapbook together, you know, before COVID. Um, and we've been getting together via Zoom. Um, and she's just sent a, should we get together on a Saturday message? So we are, even though we could theoretically scrapbook together because we're now spread to the four winds. Uh, it's actually easier for us to just meet on Zoom and we just, we don't scrapbook much. Um, we craft a bit sometimes, um, but we leather mostly. So that's that piece. You ordered three multi-purpose tools. They sent you seven. Okay. And do they say seven or three on the um, on the shipping information? And have they are ah, now what I have found, not least of all, when I was ordering the stuff that I needed for the team retreat, I ordered some embellishments that were in little pots. Three, okay. Bonus glue, absolutely, Steffi. Um, so yes, I ordered embellishments that were meant to be in little pots and um, it's not quite what arrived. Um, umbrella punches, build, a, build an umbrella punch. Oh no, I think I was going in there. I think I was going in there. 
um, which aren't even current. So they sent me a label. I would suspect that when there is the next clearance rack update, that um, that there will be umbrella punches, certainly in Europe, because uh, they wanted them back. Quite often they don't ask for things back. They said, oh, sorry, we'll send you what we should have sent you. Keep what you've got. Um, I suppose six punches was probably too much for anyone to keep. What would I want six umbrella build umbrella punches for? I never wanted one. Um, but they weren't even numbers that were close to each other. I had no idea why I ended up with punches rather than with embellishments. But there we go. That's what happened. Gosh, this is a funny shape. It made sense when I was drawing around it. But um, yeah. Right, fussy cutting tip. Mostly. Um, I've just realised I was going to stamp the leaves onto the background, but I can't now because I've got a textured background. Uh, I'm not going to do many leaves, don't worry. Not least of all because me and black ink at the moment seems to be a dangerous combination. So, I might just do one, actually. Don't think we need more than one. Um, I'm all for odd numbers. So unless I want to do three, and that really would be like watching paint dry. Uh, I'm using mint macaron, because I can. I will actually explain why I'm using mint macaron in a moment. Um, it's as simple as um, when, when the new colours, which polished pink is, when the new colours are released, stamping up release for us, um, colour coaches, which says these colours work really well with whatever. Um, and one of the colours they suggested for polished pink was Coastal Cabana, which I have lots of, but I don't have any mattes ready. And I wanted to use up what I already had cut. And Coastal Cabana is kind of just down a little way from, or up a little way from Mint Macaron. So I went with mint macaron and I actually think that polished pink and mint macaron might be a match made in heaven. I may even use the mint macaron velvet ribbon on the card. I haven't decided if I'm going to use that or polished pink, but one or other. I can't be bothered to cut into the small bits. It's going on to white. Nobody's going to know but you. And you'll keep my secret that I'm being a lazy fussy cutter this afternoon, won't you? Personally, this weekend we're doing an escape room. Oh, wonderful! And your your mother's coming down to help pack up more of your craft room. Uh, remind me, Steffi, are you moving or decorating or? Because we've got the retreat. Are you coming to the retreat? I can't remember. We've got the retreat the following weekend. Just saying. So we were meant to have our team meeting next week, as well as our retreat. Um, but for various reasons, I've had to move it to the week after and actually more people can come. So that's useful. Yes, something cropped up at the last minute, which I can't get out of. Um, so I'm really hoping that the drain man is here because I don't really want to have to deal with the drain man. Right, OK, so we have our bits. So all I'm going to do with these is um, some decoupage, also known as stick some um, dimensionals on the back. Decoupage back in the day, um, before stamping up, uh, before quite a lot of things actually. Um, good, you are coming. Yay, having an extension built. Oh, okay, so packing up unnecessary stuff. Extension isn't starting till October, but you've got a lot to pack. Yes, I know. Hello, Pam. I've seen your craft room. Well, I haven't seen it. I've seen it on camera. And there's a lot of stuff in there. 
Look at the state of my fingers. It's ridiculous. Um, but hey. Right, so that's that. I like this. This is my idea of perfection. Uh, a used sheet of dimensionals, but it's okay. We've got an un half part used sheet here. It's fine. Um, wouldn't want you to think that I've got no part used sheets. Because, you know, part used sheets is kind of where I, where I hang out. Will that fit on that bit there? Not quite. Okay, it's dimensional surgery time. So I'll pop that one there. That one. Oop, nope. Nope. More dimensional surgery. Going to watch grandson playing cricket. Oh, I'm collecting your new car. Ooh, that's exciting. I I have just heard that the car that I was expecting to be delivered originally in December. Then it looked like it was going to be January. It's going to be delivered in November. Um, it was supposed to, they, the, the first thing I heard that it was going to be built in, well, they told me that it was likely that I would get it in December. And, and um, then they checked with the factory and they said, oh, we're not building it till November. Um, and I just heard this morning that is going to be built in October, which means I'll get it in November. So it could be my birthday present, although it is both our cars. So it's not just for me. Honda Jazz. Oh, my father had Honda Jazzes. He loved them. Uh, my niece currently has his Honda Jazz because it's an electric um, and uh, she still hasn't quite managed to get her head around driving. We're thinking that starting in an automatic might be a better idea. They're lovely cars. I really liked my father's jazz. I'm getting an electric car. I'm getting a VW ID3. But we had that discussion about what colour it was a little while ago and we decided it was ship, spelt a different way. Um, or like the word ship, but not quite. Um, so, so that's our dahlia with all its layers, which hopefully you can see all its lovely layers. Um, and then I'm going to pop a leaf in there. And then a sentiment, which is thank you kindly. So a little bit of basic white. And I think I'm going to go mint macaron. Just to bring a bit more mint macaron in. I am very excited, Lorna. Can't have a new car, just my, my just needs a good clean. Automatic, fantastic, would never have any other. I'm gonna to have to learn how to drive an automatic because electric cars are automatic. So, but I am very excited. So my little Fiat Panda is going to be superseded by an ID3. And I am very, very excited. That's almost straight, but not quite. Fortunately, I was intending to trim it down anyway. Just as well, because it wasn't straight. It's one of the things, that if you can get into fussy cutting your sentiments, it solves a multitude of sins. So if you don't stamp straight, doesn't actually matter because you can just fussy cut it and it's never going to be completely straight and everyone will just go wow she's done so well fussy cutting around that sentiment or maybe they won't maybe they'll go why is she fussy cut around that sentiment why didn't she just put it on in a square or a rectangle well I've got the gym again tomorrow the new one's automatic my father's jazzes were automatic he managed to ruin his uh, left arm when he was in the army and in his latter years it kind of came up and reminded him he did the classic thing on the you know tr army training assault course of landing with his arms straight um, and his elbow didn't like it so he broke his elbow 
Which would have been fine had it not been for the fact that it was his left arm, but he's left was left-handed. Right, okay, so we're going to have that and that, and then we're going to put it onto a mint macaron base. Well, card. But I'm going to trim this down quite a lot. Um, and when I say quite a lot, not a huge amount, but a reasonable amount. Let's clear some of the decks. Don't need that anymore. Don't need those in the way. So this is currently, or was, when I, when I um, embossed it, it was five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. What a surprise, you're all saying. Whether it still is, yeah, it's not bad, actually. Uh, sometimes some of the embossing folders will shrink it and some of, it will, some of them will push the fibres out a bit. So it's always worth checking. Anyhow, I'm going to cut it so that it is a quarter of an inch smaller. So three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So basically I'm trimming about a quarter of an inch off. And it's just so that there's more of the mint macaron showing. Now, if you're really pernickety, like I can be, uh, you want to trim a th an eighth of an inch off each side. Uh, do you get the charging point installed before you get the car? Um, I have got to get that sorted out, yes. Although, because um, there are lots of people who supply them so I need to get quotes although you can actually charge it from a three pin plug takes a while but you can um, I think it takes because it's got quite a large battery it's got a reasonable range 260 miles which in real world is probably nearer 200 um, it's a bit like MPG on a, an, a, a combustion engine car so that's that's what we're looking at and but yes, so I can I can charge it on a three pin plug and apparently it will take about 29 hours. Uh, but we don't actually use our car that much and there's a lot of charge points around about us. So it's not that much of a deal, but I will we will be getting a charge point. Right, so that's what we're building. That is our dahlia. That is the dahlia leaf that I couldn't be bothered to fussy cut all of the bits. That's the thank you kindly. The question is, and we do have a choice, so we can either go the mint macaron velvet, and I will tuck it under, hmm, under the mint macaron, or we've got a choice of three, or we can go soft succulent, which can be mint macaron. You know, it's it's actually very close in the ribbon because it's see-through or we can go pool party because it's very see-through there are grants but it's not free it's yeah you get off the wall charger I think it's about 300 pounds and so long as it's the first wall charger you've put in if and off the car, so long as it's under, I think, I want to say £35,000, which actually doesn't get you a huge amount of electric car, um, you get a £3,500 grant, I think. I think those are the right figures. We are not spending £35,000 on our electric car, I hasten to add. So, are we going velvet? Are we going soft succulent or are we going pool party I shall leave you there for a little moment while I have some more of my tea happily <laughs> the brain man's here right Steffi likes the soft succulent and he's starting by pulling up the manhole cover excellent so Steffi, what, Steffi wants the soft succulent any more for any more. Susan wants soft succulent. Looks like it's soft succulent. Definitely doesn't look like it's going to be the pool party. But what what this can't bear velvet. Okay, fair enough. I do I do hasten to add that Audrey, although I have your address, I will have to remember not to send you this card if I was to put velvet on it. Um, it wasn't but I know what you mean. 
Right, so we're going soft succulent. We'll put away the velvet. You know I haven't used the velvet yet. I love it. I like velvet. Um, but I haven't used it yet. So, yes, he's starting with... Um, he's starting by taking up the manhole cover, which is probably just as well. Right, so, using my... Or glitter. Now, I know you don't like glitter. I remember that. Any more than you like me taking a nice, fresh thing of dimensionals and bending it. It's fine. We all have our little foibles. It's perfectly fine. R Excuse me. Um, looks too heavy. That's fine, Pam. We're going to go soft succulent. Um, so, I'm going to adhere my whatnot my, with, with Tombow. Um, as you know, I'm not a great fan. If you've watched me more than, you know, two or three times, you know, I'm not a great fan of putting Tombow on basic white. Uh, but this is embossed. So what we want is A, to keep the embossing, which is 3D embossing. So very precious. And B, we do actually want the thing to adhere. You're okay with the dimensional thing now? Oh, okay, that's all right then. I shall remember that. Um, but when it comes to so when it comes to um, embossing on basic white, I will use Tombow. Um, and the reason I use Tombow is so that I've got some chance of actually getting adhesive on a bit that's attaching here rather than a bit that's pushed away. Um, that's where my logic is. Right, so it doesn't actually have an up and a down at the moment, so I'm going to pop that there, that there, that there, and that there. Yep, that kind of works. So, that, that finger is really annoying me. Basic black marker all over my finger, just as well it's water-based. I should be scrubbing my hands. Right, so... Again, if you've followed me for any time at all, you will know that I like Seal Plus for ribbon because it's a strong adhesive. So I pop, <clears throat> see me would like to roll. Um, if you do find that you've got um, a Seal or a Seal Plus that doesn't want to roll, uh, I can highly recommend the silicone mat. So this one's playing silly bees. So if you roll it on the silicone mat, it holds it for you. And then you get a nice little strip. So all we need is for that to be straight. And then I can, where am I gonna pop that? There, I think. So it needs to be straight. So that's straight. Let's line that up with a straight line on this side. And That's almost in the right place, that adhesive. Let's put a bit more on. Hey, I get a discount. I don't mind using more. Watching Liz is a, is a version therapy. <laughs> oh, Steffi, that's great. Um, for those of you who can't see the comments, um, watching me as a version therapy has obviously worked with Audrey and her dislike of people cracking dimensional sheets. Ah, love it. Um, I am going to put a little knot on because I can, so I will. Something quite like a bit, bit of a version therapy. Uh, should we pull it across a bit? Maybe a little bit across. There we go. Right, and then we can just. Yep. Snip a little angle. Snip a little angle. There we go. Right, so we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to put it away. Woo! I know! Such a thing never happened. Right, okay. So this is going to stick on here. Uh, now, what I tend to do is then put some more Seal Plus over the ribbon. Um, because then when I stick this to this, that is well sandwiched between Seal Plus. And I won't put nearly as much glue on because I don't need to. 
because uh, all I'm doing is sticking one piece of card to another piece of card and they're both flat bits of card. Making sure we have the fold in the right place. And straight would be so novel. That's better. Right, to press from behind, then it went scooch. And so thank you kindly. We're going to pop up on dimensional. I will put two on only because one is not going to be enough. Two is a bit overkill, but one would not be sufficient. So thank you kindly. We will have just there. Then this I'm going to pop there. This I'm going to actually pop up here with dimensional, but not this one, just this one. So we'll have a little bit of your velvet ribbon will go nicely with the presents DSP for the Christmas card. Very festive. It would, wouldn't it? You're right, whimsy and wonder. Wonder and whimsy, whimsy and wonder. It's one or the other. I have a project with that coming out on Saturday. Now, Saturday, I need to confess. Saturday, I will not <gasps> be doing Simple Stamping Saturday because Saturday I am block hopping. Um, it's It seems to be a thing that I do lots of blog hops and almost without exception, they are in the first week of the month. So I did a blog hop yesterday, I'm doing a blog hop tomorrow and I'm doing one on Saturday and I think I've got more next week. In fact, I know I've got more next week, um, but the Saturday one goes live at 10 o'clock. So I will not be doing a simple stamping Saturday at eight o'clock just for that to be overshadowed by the one that goes live at 10 o'clock. So there will be no simple stamping Saturday. <gasps> I know. Dreadful. Slap wrist. Oh, must talking of wrists. So I've really got into these. They're Ozbands. They are, thank you, Catherine. They are, um, they support mental health. Uh, so this is perfectly imperfect. I've also got in here the one that I bought for having earned the incentive trip, which is be happy because it's got it's got um, palm trees on. And the thing is, so you actually can wear them either way around. So this way around has nothing. And then you can turn them the right way out if you need a bit of a boost. So this one, the other way around is just lots of rainbow color. And then you turn it that way round and it's perfectly imperfect which I thought was rather nice thank you and I've got uh, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons uh, I happen to be wearing a flamingo t-shirt today there is a story about that which I may or may not share with you um, and what's the other one? Oh, the one I had on earlier in the week was be beautiful um, and the U was spelt Y-O-U but um, the Be Happy came with a magnet too. So this came with a magnet. I wasn't expecting this. But part of their profits go to men support mental health in the UK. So, And they're not expensive. They're only £10. Uh, very pretty. Needs some in colour gems though. This. Yes. Well, we're going to... <gasps> Funny you should say that, Steffi. I mean, not that you didn't know it was going to have in colour gems because you know me too well. In colour gems. Bam, 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 bam. Right, so I don't use the soft succulent enough, so this is going to be a really good one to use. Soft succulent. Um, who do my flips on? These are actually almost Aurora Borealis. Don't you try saying that after you've had a strong gin and tonic. Um, so, actually, no, that's too big. We'll pop that one up there. So um, if you want just a bit of a, a neutral, really good as a neutral. Look at that. I keep seeing this. 
That mucky, 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 mucky. Um, I might do three groups of three. Sorry, two groups of three. So I've got one. I'm going to put another small one here. And then that's all going to tie together by having one up there. And then we've got one there. And I'm going to be very brave and you. <laughs> Use some polished pink. Um, oops, the the um, gem is a little bit offset on its sticker on this, so I'm going to um, make sure that the sticky bit goes in a gap. There we go, and one over there, I think. So we've got our two areas of three. That's a three, and that's a three. And then we need an inside, don't we? I didn't bring a white liner in. Never mind. We can solve that one very quickly by grabbing a piece of basic white because I'm going to get into the habit of using liners when I'm doing cards on screen. I love your sense of humour. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a bit wacky. Um, it has been said, Marlene, that is, yes, you're a, you're a long time dead, frankly. Um, thank you, Steffi. You're from Wisconsin. Please tell me that Wisconsin is safe at the moment. Please. Not too dry, not too wet, not too smoky. So I am going to bring out, as we have a couple of moments left, the small little flower. I'm just going to bring out the, uh, the pattern, not the outline. Um, and I will use that and a piece of scrap. Oh, Mr. Dinerod has gone. Fingers crossed. Everything's all right. So I'm just going to pop that down there and then now can you see can you see there's a line in the stamp so I'm going to do second generation but I'm going to make sure that the line is not there so it's well actually I haven't done a very good job on that because it was there as well but you get the idea beautiful calm weather good glad to hear it Right, so I'm just going to pop this on the inside of my card and then we're done. Woo! An hour to make a card. <sighs> Hey-ho. Right, so I need my seal. And then I can go and find out what's happening with the, um, with the drains. Just, my life is just so exciting. Oh, and the sun's come out. Woohoo! That's good because I need to walk to the post box. So I can do that in the sunshine. I might even get there before the post goes at quarter past four. Might not, of course. Never mind, tomorrow's another day. There we go. So there is our card. All done. So let me... Oh, and I need to get some more batteries for my mouse because my mouse has decided to um, go on strike. It was going upside down, so if I went, or back to front, so if I went left, it went right. And basically, I think it just needs a new battery. It's had the same battery for about five years, so that might be why. But let me go to small webcam, transition, whoa. And then I can, oh, that way around, yes, that way around. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. What was the name of your band again? It's an Oz band. O Z Z. Um, if you and if you look it up, if you there, I think their website is just Oz Band. Let me just see. O Z Z. Yes, Oz Bands. So O Z Z B A N D S dot com. Um, they do a whole range. Um, I I use them for pillow gifts for backstage. For the folks, there were some of us that met up, met up, and I bought some for pillow gifts because they're not expensive. I mean, they're I think they're ten pounds each, and you get points towards a discount. 
Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm glad you like the card. Uh, I'm going to go and have a really exciting life and find out what was wrong with our drains because <laughs> I just know how to have fun. Um, so thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Do remember that if you haven't already, um, do give me a thumbs up. Thumbs ups are very, very popular in my life. Um, if you don't already subscribe, I've got cramp in my right foot. Um, if you don't already subscribe, you can do that by clicking the button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, do share. You can share the video as well. Sorry, my foot is really quite uncomfortable. Um, but yes, so I hope you've enjoyed today and I will hopefully see you again on Tuesday at 11 o'clock UK time. And I've got videos coming out. I've got another video coming out tomorrow. I've got one today that went live today, this morning, 10 o'clock. Uh, I've got another one tomorrow. Halloween. Um, actually, have I got a video for Saturday? Have I? No, I haven't. So I will do simple stamping Saturday. <sighs> did on your way in, Audrey. I, I did see some people were liking very quickly. So that's lovely. Anyway, so my brain has clearly gone for a walk. Uh, so I will put up the end screen and see you all very soon, 